Virgo, what's going on with you? This is going to be a reading for those single Virgos, okay? These are Virgos that basically identify as unpartnered. All right, what's going on with you, single? What's going on with new love that you may be experiencing? This can entail someone new coming your way. This can entail you getting to know someone new. Virgo, what's going on with you? Let's get to one more shuffle. All right. <clears throat> Three of three of wands. So this is an energy essentially of an anticipation here. This, you could have played all your cards. You could have been putting forth effort into cultivating something here. And it seems as if the ball's on someone's side of the court. Okay, it's like someone here is now maybe taking their sweet time and making some sort of uh, action. Okay, action that entail what? We shall see. Nevertheless, in the challenge position, I see the devil. The devil is all about relinquishing something that is challenging you, something that is limiting you. There's something here that you're holding on to your past that is tumultuous, that is frictional, and is hindering you from further evolving or further bringing about abundance into your life. Something here is, you know, there's, there's some sort of residual frictional energy here that is still encompassing you that you need to relinquish. Nevertheless, you may know of this, you know what I'm talking about. And you're being courageous about it. You're dealing with it appropriately. The strength card here and the subconscious is what I'm seeing. And this insinuates that you are basically mustering up the necessary attitude, which is courage, which is strength, which is, you know, fortitude, so that you can surmount this obstacle, so that you can move ahead and, or move on. All right. Now, what's on your mind? The Two of Cups. I mean, you most certainly got love on your mind, ladies and gentlemen. Yet, there's the Three of Swords here in the future position. So, Virgo, a lot of... You could be in a in some sort of energy of a third-party situation, all right? I am seeing three, three... I mean, uh, two threes, all right? And I take that this is for some of you. Some of you may be in a situation in which there's some sort of past attachment that you may be relinquishing. This could be a relationship that has yet to culminate, that has yet to just come to finish. And you're more so in this energy of thinking about love, thinking about union, and waiting for life basically to take its, to take its process, okay? What are you exuding? The energy of the temperance. The temperance is about basically finding balance. All right, so you're being patient. You're being patient with yourself. You're being patient with the developments that are taking place within your life, whether it's transforming something difficult or whether it's cultivating something positive. I guess there can be both inner change, right? But nevertheless, that's the sort of energy that I see in you, all right? I see you in this energy of actually doing the work, doing what's necessary to get through uh, a situation that may seem unbalanced and attain balance. Now, whomever is dealing with you, this is the full energy. Someone here is taking a leap of faith towards you. Like they're just relinquishing any sort of perspectives, any sort of past baggage, and they're just taking a leap of faith towards you. It's like this is just like someone that is absolutely open to experiencing something new with you. All right. Now, interestingly, there's some sort of frictional and repulsive energy here that I'm seeing that you may want to close. So. There's an energy here that is that is testing you. That is that is um, that is testing. All right, and it seems that you're having difficulty, basically putting this burden down. You're having difficulty putting this burden down, but that's where exactly you're moving towards. Is you know closing a chapter in your life, closing a chapter and now beginning a new chapter is what I'm saying. Let's look into the devil energy. Why is the devil energy here? Let's look into this devil energy, Virgo. Why is the energy of the devil in your challenge position? Grievance, grievance. You're viewing something that took place in your life as a loss. There's disappointment surrounding this. There's grievance and you're holding on to this. Okay, flat out. This seems to be something that you're processing and, and working through. All right, what is it that you can better... Uh, what is it that you can better do to basically align yourself with surmounting this? this situation or this friction that you are giving your awareness to basically is reaching a state of emotional groundedness and peace look i feel that if you look within yourself even in a logical sense virgo you will find that that you have that you can recognize that you have a lot of emotions or romance or love to give someone 
All right, you do have a sense of worthiness when it comes to what you're able to provide when it comes to the expression of love, okay? And by realizing that, by realizing your worth, by realizing what worth you have to give, that self-realization will facilitate you in overcoming this grievance of uh, a past loss that you are experiencing, all right? Now, what is this Two of Cups? What is this Two of Cups that you have on your mind? The Two of Cups is all about exchanging your emotions, connecting with someone, giving your cup of love to someone, and basically taking their cup of love. All right, why is the Ten of Wands surmounting this? There's an element of stress. Oh, guys, I'm telling you, I'm getting some real third-party situation. Now I got three threes on board here. All right, third-party situation. You're holding on to uh, something here that is just oppressing the, the concept of romance. All right, it's like the concept of romance in your mind is being oppressed by, by a situation that involve, may involve more than one individual here, a situation that seems to be repressed itself. It's like this, this friction and tumultuousness that you're dealing with is something that is repressed. So you could be undergoing something difficult and it's being repressed, okay? It's being repressed rather than bringing, to, bringing it to light and working through it as difficult as it may be and putting an ending to it. It seems as if it's, it's being repressed, ladies and gentlemen, and it's basically impeding you from fully opening up to love, let me tell you. All right. <clears throat> now, what's with the strength card? Let's clarify the strength card, Virgo. All right, a lot of engagement, a lot of interaction is what I'm seeing. Casted with a, with a uh, or rather shrouded with a sense of obscurity. So I get the sense that you are engaging a lot. There's a lot of engagement, there's a lot of interaction, but there's still a major sense of, of lacking clarity, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this may seem, you know, some of you are not gonna, like to hear this or even oppose this idea that I'm, that I'm about to present to you, but it may behoove you to isolate yourself at this time and basically collect yourself internally, all right? Rather than putting yourself in, in some sort of uh, desire for connection, all right? Because it seems that like you're working through, or you have some sort of baggage here that is hindering you, necessary, hindering you essentially. And what's going to happen here is that you're going, you could move on or you could move forward holding on to this baggage and what you're, what you're essentially going to do is taint whatever it is that you're going to invest into. All right, so guys, it's best to, to do the work rather than holding on to shit for years because you know people hold on to stuff. They hold on to stuff and they, they, ne they neglect doing the work and next thing you know, they bring past relationship problems into new relationships and make those new problems and on and on, you know what I mean? So I I'm basically bringing light to, to the idea of what you should do if you want to experience the true, true love, okay? is, is coming, to, coming to terms with the past, accepting the past, as grotesque as it may be, and, and finding basically sublimating the significance of the friction or the turmoil or the grotesqueness that you have experienced in the past. Like, let's just say you've been through some difficult disasters and challenging and heartbreaking. You got to face that shit. You got to scrutinize it and you got to find a way to look at it in a sense of, of uh, you know, less heavy, if you will. You find significance you change the significance of that event. So rather than you looking at a situation as a fucking utter disaster and some sort of difficult time in your life and this and that, you look at it in a sense of like, okay, what did I take from this? You know, this, this, this was actually for my, for, for my better good. And I learned this and I can apply this and I learned this about myself. And by you changing that energy within yourself, when you experience these thoughts and these memories, it begins to transform, it begins to transform and you, you, Essentially, little by little, relinquish this, <laughs> this devil, right? You unchain yourself from whatever it is that you're giving power to over you. Now, what's with this world card? What's with this world card, ladies and gentlemen? I already see it. You're basically... The, the world card is the culmination of this. Done. Ace of coins, ladies and gentlemen. All this, you know, 
work that I'm telling you, that I'm emphasizing, that you're embarking on, whether consciously or unconsciously, this is the trajectory of your life, ladies and gentlemen. And it's something to take note of because if you do resonate with this, might as well just cut to the chase and fucking do the work, face the demon, you know what I mean? Face the elephant in the room so that you can be done with it and basically close out that goddamn chapter out of your life because you don't want to be carrying this. All right, you don't want to be carrying this. Even if, if you lost feelings for someone or something ended disastrously and you, and you moved on, make sure you come to terms with those feelings and those peace and everything that ensued, all right? Rather than just suppressing that and, and trying to distract yourself with something new, okay? Because that new opportunity is going to be tainted eventually. It's going to come back around. Now, Virgo, I'm going to take this to the extended and I'm going to look into this individual that seems so fond of you and willing to take a leap of faith and experience something new with you. This is a new love after all. So the link to that will be in the description. Otherwise, Virgo, is a pleasure. All right. May you use this message to your absolute benefits. See you guys.